welcome back to the channel guys today i'll be presenting the amd radeon rx 7600 now this is the msi mech 2x classic design 8 gigabyte gddr6 graphics card a few key features at the front it does support ray tracing radeon boost and radeon anti-lag um, this is amd's i'll say the cheapest offering of their latest generation gpus right now they may come out with an RX 7500 or lower. We'll have to wait and see. Right now, you can get this in the UK from around £249 and upwards, depending on which um, manufacturer you go with. I went with the MSI Classic 2X, so I liked the design. I got this for £280. Now, it does have a few requirements, a 550 watt or greater power supply. Interestingly enough, it does say it all this was Linux, Windows 10 and 11, no mention of Windows 7 there, but I'm pretty sure you could probably get it running. Um, in terms of key features, um, it does highlight its um, Radeon recording streaming platform, which is on the Adrenaline software, uh, advertises loads of other stuff like um, noise suppression, which is part of the suite, instant replay, um, fidelity effects, super resolution. Um, and a few other things there so you know it's basically you know you get a lot of good features with these graphics cards and i mainly bought this mainly for the av1 codec i want this to be part of my streaming and recording pc and i want to move over to uh, obs and start using the av1 codec to stream to twitch and to stream to youtube so i'll try and get that up and running and see how that goes um so yeah let's get it open a very very small box i didn't really want to spend much as you can see so let's get it open i'd have thought there would be like a seal or something it doesn't seem like the box is sealed so i'm not saying i'm not accusing anyone that it's been opened but i would have liked to have seen uh, you know something there to show that the, the box was sealed very very mini minimalistic packaging literally just a box but doesn't have a lid a bit of foam to make it safe in transit and as you can see literally just a card it's a more protective foaming and an anti-static bag get the card out and you get a european union regulatory notices okay i think a lot's changed in terms of power and other things like that msi graphics card quick user guide basic stuff you don't get any free accessories or anything like that the card is quite small, quite small I have to say, considering some of these big chunky cards that have been coming out recently, it's kind of refreshing. Okay, so this is the card in all its glory. It has two, what looks like 80 millimeter fans to keep the card cool on a massive two heat pipes there you can see no single eight pin PCI Express power connector no PCI Gen 5 craziness to contend with which is nice to see the dual sort card as you can see and it also has three DisplayPort 2.0s and one HDMI 2.1 in terms of output uh, the card is really really light in terms of the materials it is plastic unfortunately so it does feel quite i don't know i wouldn't say cheap but it doesn't feel robust or very rigid but because of the weight i would not expect this thing to sag or anything so it's okay i guess it does come with a back plate at least which is nice to see so i'm gonna get this thing in my streaming and recording PC and then see how it goes and I may even bring you guys a comparison with my RTX 3050 which is this is what's going to be replacing it so both cards are put like relatively the same price so it should be a decent comparison they're both 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 both require one 8 pin power connector so um, in terms of choice at, of purchase this would be a very very fair comparison but I expect this to win Especially when no ray tracing is used or upscaling. So that is pretty much it. This has been the Mech 2X Classic from MSI. Um, 
not much more to say about it really um, it looks good I like the design I doubt it will have any issues keeping the card cool especially at the power output which I expect to be under 200 watts but we'll see and um, yeah looking forward to bringing you guys some benchmarks so thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video